hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be demonstrating how to add a crinoline to a 360 degree peplum with lining i have two ways i do this depending on the project and type of fabric i am working with in today's video i'll be showing you one of the common ways and in my next tutorial i will show you another way which is actually the right way to add crinoline to a peplum with lining so if this sounds interesting to you then keep watching we will start by cutting out the peplum here i have folded my fabric into four and from this folded side we'll be taking our measurements the waist circumference i'm working with is 42 inches i'll add 5 inches to it to increase the fullness of the peplum and this gives me 47 inches i will divide this 47 inches by 6.28 which is a constant we use in calculating the radius of a circle so 47 divided by 6.28 gives me 7.48 which i will approximate to seven and a half the length of my peplum is 8 inches plus 1 inch seam allowance. This gives me 9 inches. If I add 9 inches to the 7.5, I will arrive at 16.5 inches. So the length of fabric to be folded is 16.5 inches. My fabric here is folded at 18 inches, which is 1.5 inches more than what we just calculated. I will just use the whole 18 inches since I'm adding more volume to the peplum and it will be gathered anyways. I will take these 18 inches in a semicircle just like you see me doing. So you go ahead and do the same with your measurement. You add whatever you got as your radius, in my case is 7.5 inches, to the desired length of your peplum. Whatever it gives you is what you will mark as I'm doing as your own full length. Next, I'm going to mark the radius of the waist circumference, which we calculated as 7.5 inches. Remember, I'm working with a waist circumference of 42 inches, and I added extra 5 inches to be gathered and add fullness to the peplum. This gave me 47 inches. We divided it by 6.28, a constant number for calculating the radius of a circle, and we arrived at 7.5 inches. I will go ahead and cut out the peplum. So guys, I've cut out my peplum and I have here a full circle. I will use this as a template to cut out the lining and I will interface the main fabric. I have cut out my lining and have interfaced the main fabric. You can go ahead and interface your lining if you want it more rigid, but I will not be doing that. You will take one side of the circle and slash it open for the main fabric and for the lining. Then I will place the right side of my lining to the right side of my fabric like so. Because of how sharp the ends of the crinoline is, I have sealed it off with a piece of fabric to prevent it from scratching against the skin. I will place the crinoline away from my seam allowance line but on the same line as that of the fabric and the lining and we are going to stitch the three pieces together. You can do this with either a piece of fabric or with tapes. I prefer tapes because they are more handy but at this point I can't find mine so I will make do with what is available. So while you make the stitches, do not stretch the crinoline to avoid folds on your fabric, just let it glide in. If you have a sewing fold with a seam guard, I recommend you use that. It will give you more control over the crinoline and the fabric being on the same line and help you maintain the same seam allowance all through. Please note that the crinoline is placed on the side of the lining and not on the side of the main fabric. Once you're getting to the other end of the peplum, you're going to cut the crinoline before your seam allowance, seal off the edges and finish off the stitches.
you can see that with this first stitch the peplum already have that wave effect now what you're going to do next is we're going to push all the seam allowance towards the lining side all the seam like you see me doing all the seam you're going to push it towards the lining side and top stitch I prefer to do this top stitch on the right side to be able to spread open the seam between the lining and the fabric. You can as well do this top stitch from the wrong side. So guys, this is what our peplum is looking like and you can see the wave effect. I'll go ahead and stitch both sides of the peplum. I'll also stitch close the waist circumference of the peplum. To stitch close the waist circumference of the peplum, make sure to stretch out the lining and the fabric flat while you stitch. So guys, that's all there is to this tutorial. If you find it helpful, do not forget to like, share, comment. Leave all your questions in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Abianto!